Welcome back friends to the shop. Today's video is not at all what I had planned. What I had planned was we were going to take a look at the new Spyderco survival axe, which I'm very excited about. Problem is I woke up and the well pump is not running. We have no water. Mrs. W is gone teaching CC today. And if I don't have that water on by the time she gets back, well, there's going to be trouble. So let's grab our tools. We can go down there together, check it out. Hopefully it's going to be a simple fix. So I've poked around here a bit and I found out that we do have power. This is a, now this, so how it works is that there's a, we have a shallow well, we have a well pump in a casing right here. And that uh, is fed by this wire. So this is actually a pressure switch. If you haven't seen one of these before, this is how, how it works. So you bring 240 mostly into your well pump. So there's a 120 circuit here and a 120 circuit here. And that feeds this switch. And then this goes to the controller, to the pump. This spring right here, if you look and see the switch right there, this is what turns the pump on. So when these little contacts are out, that means the pump is off. When it, they go on, that turns the pump on. So I can hear the pump trying to cycle and run, but it's not pumping any water. So either something's wrong with the controller or something's wrong with the pump. How these work is that this spring, you can adjust it for different pressures. So when your pump pumps up to your desired pressure, whatever that may be, this kicks off and the whole system sits idle. And then when that pressure drops, it releases the spring and it makes contact. And then this will operate within a, a certain range, range here. Like this one here was set it on at 70 PSI and off at 90. So let's trace the system and see if we can find what the problem is. These two wires here are coming from the house. These are, this is 240, 120 and a 120. That's coming up to this disconnect box. It looks like it's grounded here. So that's why there's only two wires. Now, these two wires that come out of here, right here, this is 240, this is going into the controller. We can, I tested those. We got 120 there and we've got 120 there. Okay, that's connected to the switch. So that's, that's feeding the switch. Now, when the switch activates, I can hear it, that pump trying to cycle right here. You can see the, the contacts there. That should be turning on the pump. Now that is feeding the yellow and the black wire, which go up to this Franklin controller. And now this is where I'm, I don't really know what this is all about um, or even exactly what this does, but it's taking the current from the switch and it's doing something, you know, something in here could be bad. I don't, I just don't know. Um, or it could be the pump. All right, guys, here's what I think it is. I think it's this control box right here. So this is a pretty standard part. This is locally, or available local in town here, about 80 bucks. And why I think it's this is that, so the power from the pressure switch is coming in here and there's a capacitor. I think that's what that is, that black thing. Do you see how it's all corroded? I did read that uh, these can go bad and then it won't send the proper amperage out to the, to the well pump. Now this, the yellow wire coming out of here is supposed to have about seven and a half amps to the pump. If I had a way of testing that, then I could, um, then I would know for sure, but I don't have a clamp on uh, type of a tester. So I don't even know how I would get that without, you know, sh shaving off the, the uh, shielding on there, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go get this controller. The fact that that thing is all nasty anyways probably uh needs to be replaced uh, if that doesn't do it if that doesn't work then we'll have to take the pump out now that's usually a big deal you have to have a you know, specialty equipment you have to have a well drillers rig to get that out because they're so deep this one's not deep it's a shallow pump it's only down there about seven or eight feet so uh well <laughs> might have to tear the building down to get it out but uh we'll figure it out let's go get this in town and then we'll uh Hopefully that will fix it. We'll take this one with us. Just make sure we get the, the right part. Mm -hmm. 
found it guys we just keep winning just keep winning today all right guys hopefully it's going to be as simple as replacing this i found the exact same box fortunately whoops you can see right there the identical i think with that uh, all that corrosion coming out of there may be the problem i'll be surprised though it's, it has not been my lot in life to have simple solutions to problems <laughs> it seems that my problems are always the uh uh, exception that no one's ever heard of before. So if, if we push this in, <laughs> it worked. It was simple as that. It was uh, could just the control unit. You can hear the water pumping. Oh, Mrs. W is going to be happy about that. And I'm going to look like the big star, but I can't really take credit for it. Well, I am just tickled that that was uh, so easy uh, to fix. You know, I often talk about I was just thinking on the way, I was thinking on the way up here uh, about the golden rule. I'm always talking about the golden rule, you know, and it's, it's, it's got many facets. There's many things to that. I'll tell you what, I didn't know what to do with this particular controller. I didn't, you know, didn't, it's not my expertise. I didn't really understand it, but I was able to call, I called a local guy in the next town. Uh, his name was Mike. Um, and I kind of explained my situation and I could tell he was busy. He had multiple phones going on, you know, you know, contractors are, but he took, you know, probably close to 15, 10, 15 minutes out of his day, uh, to help me diagnose my problem and ask me questions. And, and was able to, he gave me the information that I needed that, where I could just go to the store and for $80 buy a part, put it on and fix it that I wouldn't have been able to do without, had he not helped me with that. You know, it's easy to take that for granted, you know, and, and you don't consider that how many years has he labored to have that knowledge, you know, to, to have to be an expert at well pumps and things. And that has a value, had a tremendous value to me that he that he spent 15 minutes of his valuable time explaining it to me. So make sure that you take care of guys like that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back up to the house. I'm going to call him. I'm going to ask him what his wife's favorite place to eat at. Uh, and I'm going to buy them a gift certificate for a nice dinner uh, as a thank you. Because even if I spend $100 on someone's dinner, um, what would it cost me to have a guy come out here um, and, and to, to do this and to diagnose it? And, 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 you know, the parts, I mean, it would have been, it probably would have been five, maybe even 10 times that, maybe more. So be sure. And when you have guys like that that help you out, um, make it, make sure you say thank you. I mean, I, when I had my Jeep parts business, I did that for a decade and thousands and thousands of hours I spent on the phone, you know, ex talking guys through problems and helping to explain them and helping them to fix things. And very rarely, very rarely, I, I can't even remember a time where someone actually wanted to make that right or, or to the, recognize my time explaining that to them was that had value. Um, so that's just, um, I, I really appreciate it. Hey, Mike, this is Cody. I spoke to you earlier about the pump. Uh -huh. Hey, I wanted to call back and tell you thank you. you. What you said was exactly right, and we're up and running. Excellent. Good, Good to hear that. Hey, are you married? I am. What's your wife's favorite place to have uh, dinner? Oh, she enjoys <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to have a $100 gift certificate there for you. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, give me your email, and I'll send the inf info. It is deep. <laughs> 